Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Season 4, Episode 15, City at War. The Turtles are finally back, and as usual, I am two weeks behind because I didn't realize the Turtles were back. So, uh, catching up with this episode, I'm going to be watching um, the most recent episode that came out on Sunday, or yesterday, actually, uh, right after I do this review. But this is a really great episode. We get introduced to a new character in Shinigami, which is, she's really awesome. Uh, I love the fact that as soon as Mikey saw her, he just, like, fell in love because she's super hot and stuff, which I thought was so funny. But when she first showed up, it was funny because when they were fighting her and she, like, disappears, I'm like, she turned into a bunch of bats. I don't know how many of you might get this reference, but it was like they were fighting Bayonetta from the video game franchise Bayonetta. She's, like, doing magic and stuff, and then she, like, disappeared and turned into a bunch of bats. I was like, they're fighting Bayonetta right now. Like, this is insane. So... She was really awesome with her first, you know, the first fight that they did, and then that kind of leads into the fact that Cry is actually back and completely doing her own thing. She doesn't have the brain worm. She's her own person, and Shinigami came in because she's a friend from Japan, and now they're working together to rebuild the foot as something new and to take over for what, you know, Shredder left behind. So I thought that was really awesome. April um, has become a, a Konoichi in this episode, which was really cool. Um... She, I'm assuming she's going to have, you know, the black outfit uh, permanently, which I think is pretty sweet. And I assume is a reference to uh, Bruce Lee's outfit in Game of Death, except instead of it being yellow with a black stripe, it's uh, black with a yellow stripe. Plus, it's only one stripe instead of two. But I thought that was cool. Um, I thought it was hilarious, but she still has, like, that little button on her back, on her butt, pretty much, that looks like the ball from Toy Story to me. So I thought that was hilarious that they kept that on there. But looked really cool. I love the second fight uh, that... She, that they had between um april and shinigami i thought that was really cool and april was like using her psychic abilities and she was about to kind of lose it a little she was about to take the tanto out which probably wouldn't have ended well for her i can assume but it was really cool i thought it had a lot of great action it's great that it's weird that this is still the fourth season i mean i guess uh technically it's only episode 15 so it would be weird to make this its own season but this is really like the new arc, you know, they're back in, you know, they're back in New York, and things are getting good, like, already, all right off the top, we have Karai, a brand new character who has a really cool fighting style, um, I can't wait to see what they do with her and Mikey, and him, like, just falling for her and stuff like that, she is pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie, it's me personally, at least, but she is a cool fighter, and, like, she's really cool, and, you know, she's got, like, this weird mystical thing, like, it's not, I mean, I have to assume that she has some form of actual magic because of the bat thing. Like, the other stuff, like, okay, you know, the red smoke thing could have just been, you know, something a little special. Like, they even in this episode, when Mikey throws the egg down and they all disappear, it's like, I can believe that. I could believe that that could have easily been one of her things. But her turning into, like, the red mist and, like, a bunch of bats dispersed, it's like, I don't know. I kind of think she might have some actual magical qualities or she's just insanely freaking amazing it's one or the other so well you know i don't really know her character from the comics i'm assuming she is in the comics i don't recall her at all from the um 2003 version of the series and unfortunately i don't have like the most extensive knowledge of the comic books so i'm assuming that she is a character but i don't know anything about her but i love this version of her character for sure so i think she's really awesome in this um like I said, the action was really good. We got to see, uh, we got to see actually everyone, all the you know big players um, in, in this episode. We got to see all the turtles. Uh, Casey was in the opening, and I thought it was kind of weird that he wasn't in the rest of the episode at all. So I thought that kind of sucked. I was like, oh, you know, they all go out on April's first official mission as a uh, you know Konoichi. And I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. Casey isn't there, and they kind of made the reference to how she normally wasn't able to keep up with them, and it would have been funny if they had that joke in there somewhere with Casey, and he's like you guys are moving too fast or something, even with him on skates. But, you know, he was the only person, I mean, he was at least in it, but everyone else got a, a nice focus in this episode. You know, b -Bell and Rock City kind of had the same thing Casey had, where it's like, oh, there they are. They're actually in it, at least. But everyone was in this episode, and I thought that was pretty cool. Even if it was only to, like, just see them, like, stand there or something, it's like, we actually got to see every major player in this episode. So I thought that was pretty cool. Karai's taking over, you know, she's got her, her right-hand woman now, and they're riding around destroying weapon caches, and we'll see what else they start destroying. They got the cool, I love the fact that they had um, Foot Clan helmets. It was like, man, I don't even have a motorcycle, but I kind of want one of those things because it just looks cool. But 
I'm excited to see where this goes. The introduction has changed up a little bit. I was excited to actually see the intro this time because, you know, it's not the intro from when they were in space. So I was kind of happy to see that. It was pretty cool. Um, I did notice a couple of things that were in there that were actually pretty sweet. Of course, the sort of panning thing is different, so they've got a bunch of new characters in there, which I thought was cool. Um, the sort of ending action sequence, there's, you know, Mikey kicking the the two ninjas. They're dressed in red. And then we have, I think it was Leo cutting up the two uh, robots that were dressed in red as well. And I can't remember what that's from. They're dressed kind of like uh, Brad was when he first showed up in the series. But... I know there's somewhere in the Ninja Turtles where I've seen ninjas dressed in red before, or maybe I'm just thinking of ninjas that I've seen dressed in red a million other different times, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that somewhere else in Ninja Turtles, but really cool, um, you know, minor things, you know, like I said, the panning thing, going across all the new characters is the biggest thing, um, they changed the little sequence where they go through the sewer, that was pretty cool, it was like super fast, but April is in her new outfit, and she's using her powers to read that comic, like that comic, if you go back through it, is actually like floating in space and she's turning it using her mind and I'm pretty sure um, Master Splinter's uh, little segment is slightly different as well because he's smiling for like a split second when he's looking at her I believe and then he does the thing where he like uses his staff to hit the ground they never had that before not that I can remember at least so I think he's like glancing at her because she's like you know the new star pupil really so I thought that was a nice very fast change because if you aren't really paying attention to it it goes past just as fast as it always has it's just like boom there she is reading the comic but she's actually using her powers to keep it you know floating and turn the pages and she's in her new outfit so I was like that's pretty cool um they didn't really change too much else like I said they had the panning thing and Mikey kicking the ninjas and Leo slicing up the new robots but that was really about it and the scene where um the guys are jumping across the rooftop Karai as well as uh, Shinigami are on top of the water tower and Casey's still at the bottom and he kind of looks up at him so I thought that was cool but I'm excited to see uh, where things go. I, I want to keep saying this season, but it's technically still the same season, even though, of course, it's like, you know, it's been forever since we've had a show. I wish they, I wish they show got more money and they could just do a, all the episodes they needed to. But it's always good when the show's back on. I'm having a great time with it. I can't wait to get into this uh, next episode. And, you know, I'm excited. I'm glad we're, you know, we're finally back into the series. It's going to, you know, it's going to be the same thing. I know what to expect. And, We'll get our couple of episodes, probably like a, a solid, a good month worth. I'd say maybe a month and a half of just straight episodes. And then we'll start getting those little breaks. And then we'll have like two weeks. And then it'll be three weeks. And then it'll, maybe it'll be a month and we'll get two episodes again. So I know how it's going to go, unfortunately. But I think we might at least get this to... I would assume with it being episode uh, 15 or 16... It's going to go, we're at least going to have a solid amount of episodes until the season, the actual season finale. And then it'll kind of be like it's been the past couple of years where the finale and then technically the next season are one week after another. So, and, and that tends to be okay because that means we get like a super epic freaking couple of episodes. And then it's like, yeah, don't worry, we got the next season coming right up, so... You know, there's, and plus the way they ended the uh, last episode, even though technically it wasn't the finale, it was, I mean, it's them going, you know, getting back to Earth, so it was basically a season finale, so it was a, it was a f totally fine way to, you know, cut it off and leave us hanging, like, you know, what's going to happen next, because the only person um, that didn't show up in this entire episode, of course, was the Fugitoid, he was the only one that didn't show up, and we know he's still out there alive, so... I am curious to see what happens, but really love this episode. Excited to get into the next one. Of course, want to know what you guys thought about this one, so please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And of course, Shinigami, being the new character, have to ask what you guys think about her and her skills and even her looks if you're interested. So definitely want to know what you guys think about her character and of course the episode in general. So please comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.